We are back. And please excuse me because I am recovering from the flu. And welcome to 2023. It's a new year and a new ripoff. As we check in with Demiley Pyro, Dutch VTuber and Demon Girl, along with being a Twitch partner, meaning they can take part in the Twitch ad incentive, which is as bad now as ever. Saying, hey, Twitch, what's up with these payouts? You're offering me less every month. This is less than half I was offered for the same amount of ads last month. At this rate, I'd sooner turn ads off entirely. That turning us to another Twitch partner, Fangs, saying, well, slap my and pull my hair. What a deal. Thanks, Twitch ad and Cine program. I can buy a whole Happy Meal with this one, as this Twitch partner is being paid $9, with, of course, these ads being non-skippable. Further along, we have Ayochi, your favorite cult leader, Discord, and Twitch partner, tweeting out, I'm gonna explode. Almost 200 average viewers for this. A joke. Being offered a cool 11 12 and, wow, $13 for three minutes of ads per hour. And that, by the way, is for the entire month. Also chiming in is Bino. I'm laughing so hard at these offers. Thanks, Twitch, but no thanks. Saying further, just let me turn off ads completely, please. This is a joke. Next up, we have Kana Bonana with this Oni saying, ha ha, 57 cents an hour, no thanks. I'll just not do ad breaks. As in order to earn over $100, they would have to run three minutes of ads and stream 189 hours. We also have the Undead crime boss Corey at Kingpin Corey definitively saying don't even bother sending me one next month Twitch that even as we have better numbers from Chubbs Force Cat VTuber and Twitch partner stating my offers aren't half bad but for seven minutes of ads per hour for 162 hours in a short month you're out of your gourd Twitch and also on the ad incentive train is Tectone the Eggman who is currently grinding those hours out tweeting out out, streamed nearly 90 hours so far this month, and I'm not even halfway done with my ad incentive. Bro, Twitch, you're killing me. We also have Comrade Dell, the gas mask Mothman VTuber. Tweeting out, just reminded that in a month, it's going to be a whole year since Twitch stopped paying me. That due to this VTuber being Russian. Oofskies. Also weighing in is Arthur A. Abbott, with the VTuber giving us this scenario. Watching a Twitch stream. Ask streamer a question. About to answer and then 30 seconds of ads play saying I am begging on my hands and knees please creators turn off mid rolls please 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 I can't handle this garbage and speaking of garbage these are the type of ads that are currently playing on Twitch as next we check in with Captain Dandy Floss the cruise Captain Cat showing off their original ad incentive this being back in July and now showing that the ad incentive has nearly been cut in half saying man remember the good times of ad incentive off what did I do to deserve this much undervaluing of my work for Twitch? The most insulting one I've been offered to date, February, is going to be rough. And the captain went even further, showing off the number of hours of ads along with each incentive and how it has been dropping. Others comparing this to the seasonal drop in ad incentives on YouTube, as we are also checking in with Admiral Baru, saying as somebody who did primary YouTube content before Twitch, this month's offer being low is not a surprise. January and February have always been terrible months for ad revenue, regardless of platform or size. But we also have other problems as we check in with Mookie, Cal VTuber, tweeting out some of my subscribers on Twitch still get ads, even though I have ad free for subscribers. Explain. Yes, once again, this is a setting on Twitch to allow your subscribers to watch your content on your channel ad free that for some users just doesn't work. That is next. We check in with Comfy Fox VTuber Fox Plushy, showing off for the first week when Twitch just wasn't working at all with Fox Flushy tweeting out guys don't bully Twitch they're a small indie company trying to keep their website up and then Nux breaking down the numbers saying they only take a meager 90% of ad rates and 50% of subs with Fox Flushy replying truly saints if you ask me oh whoa and Twitch can't have all the fun as we also check in with V Shoujo's Zentrea asking all of us to stop on by in five days but also sharing my chat got my YouTube 
YouTube live stream demonetized in like five minutes of the stream starting and immediately receiving a reply from Team YouTube saying, we're looking into this right now. Zentrea assuring them this is not an emergency, but saying, thanks for being responsive though. So yes, now is the time to support VTubers more than ever. And we'd like to thank you for your support, not only for picking up our Uwu Drop merchandise, but also our brand new subscription box. As this January, we have the Kohai. That's right, it's Cody and Heidi, available on a t-shirt, poster, hat, coaster, and more. These goods are only available for the next two weeks. You can subscribe with the link below. And while we're back from a hiatus, unfortunately, someone else is not yet returned, that being Hall Live English's Gal Gura. But we do have this, the brand new pop-up parade figure, now available for pre-order, with Gura tweeting out, I'm about to do the sickest freaking cartwheel pre-order fishy, kind of cute. This being the first of five soon to be release pop-up parade figures of all of hollow myth once again gura has been on hiatus since the beginning of december as here now we have this proper adios that by way of forbidden bread but gura was also giving us this tweet yesterday as we quote we'll read this back goob goo boo bo oh goob gooba goob gooba goob gooba only the finest news here this as sunday before last gura was celebrating the return of someone else from hiatus that being nina my Eninus, who had been out on vacation slash hiatus slash recovery slash so many things for a full season. Yes, three whole months. But she's back now after having visited Japan and meeting other Hall Live Japan members alongside other Hall Live English members who were also in the country at the time. However, one of those in Hall Live English who does not seem to have been in Japan recently was Oro Crony. But she's still been incredibly busy teasing us with a brand new outfit fit. And no, it was not Sephiroth crony, but instead this new casual look, which was actually spoiled by this tweet by a full seven minutes while crony was still streaming and hadn't revealed it herself. Hall Eye Production acknowledging this and saying the previous tweet was published a little earlier than the scheduled reveal timing. We apologize for any confusion and for the inconvenience caused to the fans and crony. And yes, mom jeans are in and crony has them, showing off her new casual look here saying, hey, do you like bad girls? Because I'm bad at everything and I'm pretty good at it. With Keen Biscuit showing off her legginess, saying, wow, she looks like my aunt for real. As Crony also received a brand new room background from Resu at Resu Desu, complete with a mysterious red cup and sandwich there on the left. And that wasn't all for Crony as she also released two covers, one being fully sponsored alongside Takanashi Kiara and another being a rendition of Bakusho, giving us this smile in a sneer. But one of the biggest events for Crony came at the end of a random stream. Let's take a listen. Holy sh- Oh my god! Holy sh- There's a big spider on the ceiling! And sure enough, later we had full renditions of the spider, not only from Dino Bang and also under the TV, giving us this Bay Spider, aka Bader. As here we also have the results from Ussing, Tensu Tensu, and of course, Super Apple Man. But it turns out this was all an inside job. That's right, the spider was paid off. As confirmed in a YouTube comment from Noir Vesper, the Hollow Stars English Tempest member who received proper vengeance yesterday. This during a Monopoly stream involving not only Vesper and Crony, but also Hall Live English's Maury Calliope loving Monopoly here, along with Hall of Stars member Magni Desmond saying, I'm ruined, my family fortune lost to the demon of time. That as Crony ended up dominating the game and leading to Noir Vesper to say, quote, I'd rather cut my dick off. Later confirming the quote and adding and throw it into the tall, tall grass. Crony replying, it's time to cut that off now. As we also had artist interpretations of of the aftermath of Monopoly, including here from Kun Kun Gan, along with this timely but somehow not related artwork from Sophia Sombra, leading Crony to say, it's so much fun playing Monopoly with friends. And we have so much more Hall Live news to tell you throughout the week. Major news, in fact, but now we're turning to Niji Sanji. Firstly, checking in with Selene Tatsuki, who won the Niji Sanji brush-up lottery. That's right, she is receiving a 3.0 brush-up and showing off these new concerning looks 
that she now is available to show off on her model, confirming that she actually picked the date herself, and saying there's a lot of stuff going on in Nijisanji English, so picking a date was hard, and I want to use the new upgrades as soon as possible. As even just this weekend, Selene has major plans for Nijisanji English. Now launching Wrestle Sanji, self-described as a huge two-day event involving 25 Nijisanji English livers, where only one can become the champion and a real physical belt will be given out. Presenting us with these brackets and confirming the main casters, the show match casters, along with the announcer and interviewer. Taking part in this is Aster Arcadia, already creating your character, that being the Giga Chadster, who is ready for Russell Sanji. And that's not all this weekend, as on Thursday and Friday, we have seven, yes, seven brand new Niji Sanji members debuting. Formerly of the Virtual Town Academy, yes, four members debuting on Thursday, another three on Friday, January 20th. No name yet for this wave, other than the information that it is made up of seven female livers. That is also this weekend, Niji Sanji English is busy with Finana Ryugu. As on that same day, January 20th, we'll have a 3D reveal. That's right, it's 3D Fish with Finana tweeting out, I'm watching a WeWas 3D in the middle of Walmart. That of course being Niji Sanji English's Alira Pandora, who this past Friday on January 13th had her 3D reveal entitled Love at First Light, leaving Niji Sanji English's Meliko Kyoran speechless as Alira would go on to step on the camera and leaving Scarlet Yunaguni to say, my dreams have finally come true. Millie Parfait also reacted with, I got so emotional on Alira's speech at the end. And among those joining Alira was Petra Gurren, Niji Sanji English's penguin learning to stream, who, yes, was a little bit flat. Thanking Alira and saying it was an honor to sing one of our favorite songs together. Today was the commemorable first Niji EN 3D reveal of many to come. And I am so, so, so proud of you and everything you've achieved. I love you. And we even had a confirmation that Club Nemos took care of the 3D modeling for Alira. And yes, it was true. We were at Anime Los Angeles. And yes, I did get con flu. But I also received this amazing artwork. That by way of Hey Kevbo. Presenting this and saying, man, it was a real bummer that con flu hit you while you were here at ALA. In spite of all that, you slayed at what VTubers say. There was absolutely no way to tell you were sick at all. And of course, a major thanks to all the VTubers in attendance, including Cinder, taking time to give me a physical printout of this artwork, as I couldn't make it back to the convention myself. Thank you, Cinder, and thanks again to Kevbo for this Cinder artwork, confirming probably one of the nicest people I've met. It always raised my spirits when you drop by, and I hope you know that your hard work is noticed and appreciated. You light up our world. And also lighting up our world, of course, was V Shoujo's Iron Mouse. Last week, celebrating her birthday, being given this new illustration from Akagi, then alongside her 2023 concert. That's right, a free concert on Twitch.tv by Iron Mouse, featuring this brand new model from Yuli, saying the concert was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much again. With Wada chiming in, I did choreography for Iron Mouse Chan's birthday live concert. Happy birthday, Mouse Chan. I'm so honored to support Mousy realizing her dream. Another part of that dream being jewelry. As also offered that day was an Iron Mouse birthday necklace that sold out within minutes now is available for pre-order until January 25th. That wasn't all as Mouse celebrated the next day too with even more merchandise including a desk mat and poster along with showing off this new birthday variant for her background from 7MC and yes receiving a gift from yours truly this commission artwork from Kamiya Yume. Yes we've already sent off Mouse into outer space so of course we had to send her to the deepest darkest recesses of the sea and as you can see she She's never been happier. And as later confirmed, she's never been more appreciative. Anytime, Mouse. Anytime. Very lastly, we had this surprise. Iron Mouse is now with Advanced GG. You can grab her brand new starter kit and yes, even use code FALSE for 10% off. And while I'm recovering, also recovering is Cody, our wonderful co-host, giving us even more things VTubers say. Ko-hi-yo. We've been away from the news for quite a while, so let's try and catch up to some 
some big beats that you may have missed over the last four weeks. Starting with the incredibly competitive Hololive Mario Kart Tournament. When we last left off, the brackets had been split into three, with the top four moving into the main winners tournament. In Group A, it was Okayu who took the top spot with a 10-point lead. In Group B, Suisei took first with a whopping 17-point lead. And in C, we had a surprise win from Subaru. The tournament was fierce and all forms of pro tactics were employed, such as Suisei pulling a pro gamer move, throwing her own banana peel in front of her, then using it to avoid a three-second penalty from a blue shell and taking that one second penalty of the banana. But she also accidentally picked a track she didn't know how to play. Fortunately for her, no one else knew it and she ended up winning that one too. What a gamer. The last track was selected by none other than the one and only Elite Miko. And it was the no skill, all luck required course that is Baby Park. This was the match that was going to decide the winner and Suisse ended up taking seventh place. But her earlier domination helped her take the top spot as the final three ended with Sui taking first with a seven point lead and Pirate Captain Hosho Marine sailing into second place. Hoshimachi Suisei has also been part of many different collabs as of recent. She is available as a design for a tea card issued at Sutaya and Asahiha bookstores nationwide. She also appeared as a guest on Japanese radio station School of Lock where she spoke about the pre-voice change and video ads for her upcoming live concert appeared in Shibuya Station. The live concert takes place on the 28th of January and will feature a live band and for the first time ever Hololive are offering the chance for overseas fans to purchase live tickets via a lottery. Now 2023 brings in the year of the rabbit but it was also the birthday of the number five most watched youtube streamer of 2022 usada pakora she celebrated with a wonderful 3d live concert featuring some amazing performances with guest idols such as inogami korone hey muna fubuki lami chloe and oh my god it's ayame subaru toa and polka gorgoomba the one and only azki and of course her gen mates where during the performance she went on to reveal a brand new 3d outfit giving her a much more regal look. The Pekoland princess dress was designed by Sakia Hiro and comes with a removable jacket and sash. In addition to her birthday merch, a Japanese doll has been announced. Limited to three per person and priced at nearly 200,000 yen, the scale figure features some absolutely stunning detail. Pekora can also be found at Tobu Zoo in a Hololive collaboration alongside more of her furry friends. That being Fubuki, Mio, Okayu, Korone and Botan. Shishiro Botan is the latest of the talents who is joining the Nendoroid family, along with top tier Mario Kart racer Yuzuki Choko. In other celebrations, we visit perfect pitch Tenshi Amane Kanata, who in December celebrated with a 3D live and absolutely killed her performance of Unravel, holding a note for 21 seconds without breathing. Kanata is celebrating a milestone of 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube. But in case you wanted a little more from the Petan, she is also one of three Hololive talents teaming up with Annie Deal to release a perfume. There are no details on what smells to expect just yet, with the only clue being the fragrance I want to share with you. The other talents have been blurred out, but eagle-eyed fans are sure to guess who they are. And I have to say, I do like the smell of roast duck. Next, we head over to Hololive Indonesia, as Ayunda Risu celebrates her birthday week. Risu has released some very distinct merch, that being her tail, which can be rolled or stretched to provide you comfort in ways you never thought possible. And next, we celebrate another milestone with Kobo Kanaeru, who just last week hit a huge 1.8 million subscribers on YouTube and is hoping hoping for 2 million in 2023. Kobo has also released a cover of popular song, Overdose. And she isn't the only one as fellow ID talent Pavolia Rainey also covered the song. But they say three times a charm as we look towards Yatagami Fuma of Holostar's Uproar, who has also released his version of the cover. Lastly, we visit popular creator site Pixiv, who has teamed up with Hololive to hold a creator contest. This is Hololive's largest ever creator-oriented project and consists of three different categories. These categories are a swimsuit design category using a provided template, a free draw illustration category, and a scenario category where you must write a voice script on the theme of summer, featuring up to four talents. Various tiers of prizes are available for each category, with the first place winners also receiving a cash prize. So I guess that means it's time to get creative, just like Raisin Golem who recreated the entire opening of Chainsaw Man using Hololive talent. And in a new segment, we introduce Cody News. There are no scheduled streams this week, as I'm still recovering from being unwell, but don't forget this month's false ID merch box on Uwu Market is the first chance you'll be able to get your hands on some Kohai merch. Only available for this month, the standard box features a t-shirt and poster of this handsome chap, as well as a coaster, sticker and hat. hat? 
of best tomboy Heidi. So celebrate the new year with your Kohai with this limited box. That's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Cody. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch. It's great being back, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.